biggest spam fam there is. Here it is. They need its desk. You know, yes, we're not kidding. This spam. is so true. There, I do keep a can of spam on my desk. I have a spam notebook. I have a spam little can that needs to have some breath mints in it tonight. Um, I love spam. You do. Wow, you, you guys you, got me. There's no joke. Spam everywhere in your desk. <laughs> All right. You know, you would have been the perfect judge tonight at the Cuyahoga County Fair. Perfect. Oh, I, I love it. I've been there for this. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee, she picked the lucky straw tonight, and she gives us a look at a spam recipe competition. It's called the pinnacle of culinary achievement. 26 of Cuyahoga County's best cooks hoping their dish is a favorite with the judges. And where's the entry number? The entries are judged on taste, originality, and presentation. Up to 10 ingredients are allowed, as long as one of them is spam. That's right, spam. I've been eating spam since I've been about yay high. My mom used to uh, just fry it up uh, in a frying pan. These cooks have brought spam a long way since then with their entries in the Great American Spam Championship. Spam chili. Fried spam shish kebabs. Stuffed cabbage. I stuff things. The competition's a favorite at the Cuyahoga County Fair, and it's serious. Nine year old Michael here burned his finger grilling his shish kebabs, but he says it's all for a good cause. I wanted to raise money to go to the orphanage, the burrito one next to this place. Michael took second place, and 12 year old Gavin and his spam chiladas placed first in the kids' division. It's kind of cool to be a spam champion. Samantha Welch is one of the judges. She's already won three times. The very first year I made an appetizer. Um, it was like a spam puff and just had some spinach and stuff on top of it. The second year I made a potato casserole with spam in it. And the third year I made a hash brown stack. Now, as most of you already know, spam is one of Danita's favorite foods. And so, my friend, this can's for you. In Berea, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5. Oh, man, and I will take it, Deb, and cook it up real <laughs> nice. Thank you.